Hey, you guys, it is Jim. So this beautiful woman sitting right across from me is Sarah Savini, a.k.a. the very talented Rosie in uh, our production of Mamma Mia. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. Amazing. Like the audience is you're getting standing ovations. It's... Everybody loves the show. <laughs> we, you just finished a matinee and everybody came out. And it's traditionally a senior audience. Yeah. They had a blast. Oh, yeah. They were standing up just like every other crowd and they were dancing along and doing their thing. We could see them in the back. It was awesome. It's cool. And, and this, if I'm not mistaken, is the first time you worked at the Paramount, right? Yes. Yes. This is my debut and I'm really fortunate to be here. I am blessed. I love every moment that I've had. Cool. I'm <laughs> glad. So look, uh, you've got an amazing, interesting background. So originally from your, you're from Evanston. You I grew am. up in Evanston, I right? Did. And then you went to Curry College. So where is Curry College? It's right outside of Boston in this uh, small town called Milton, Massachusetts. It's a small liberal arts college. How did you um, find uh, this Curry College? Uh, I spent my summers... Uh, <laughs> I, summer I in, summered in, in Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. um, so my sister and I actually gravitated towards the East Coast. We really we spent we went to camp there. We spent a lot of time there, and so I was looking for a small uh, place to go that I could really um, dive in and do all facets of theater. Yeah. Um, they had a great. Um, they do have a great radio and communications department, uh, and so I met my husband there, and I started doing theater there as well, and got my internship in Second City through them. So it was a really wonderful um, experience to be there. Cool. And you also studied at the American Conservatory of Theater and, of course, the Second City Conservatory. I did. And uh, I should say, you just told me 20 years. Congratulations, marriage. Yeah, this, this November 30th, it'll be 20 years. It kind of blows both of our minds. <laughs> and especially in this business, because let's face it, because you were saying your husband had worked for a long time in the business. Like, yes. having the schedules that you guys have isn't e a marriage isn't the easiest thing in the world, and it's work. And yeah. then you got to do what you do, and the schedules you keep, not the easiest thing, right? Well, right before we got married, actually, was the first show that we did. Did. We had a theater company for 13 years called Open Eye Productions, and um, right before we got married was our first show. <laughs> because I mean, why do things simply? Sure, right, yeah. yeah. Do it all. Do it in between matinee and the Absolutely. evening performance. Absolutely. And uh, let me make this clear that uh, Sarah also is a Jeff Award winner for Best Supporting Actress in a Musical for Porchlight's Assassins, yes. and also you guys won the Best Ensemble for Mar uh, Marathon 33 at Straw Dog. Yes. So this ain't your first rodeo, no, man. No, it's not. Marathon 30, 33 was a cast of thousands. It was um, the dance marathons. So it's Dainty June story. It's it's. We had maybe 42 people in, if you include the band, Holy cow. all doing um, swing dancing, and and the horses would have the, the men on their backs, and it was just an entire marathon, and it was really an amazing wow. experience. And that, then, of course, doing assassins. I mean, Sarah J. Moore is one of those, you know, dream roles that you get, and to be able to have had that experience with Michael Weber and and with Porsche was beyond. You belong to a really cool theater company. You're an ensemble member with Factory Theater. Yes, I am. And here's a little known fact that uh, this talented artist across from us, besides all the other stuff that you do, you also have written a couple of shows, and one actually goes into previews on October 14th. Yes. Cool title, Zombie Broads <laughs> yes. at Factory. So tell me about it. Well, I have a writing partner. Her name is Corbett Pasco, and we've written six shows together, two full lengths. And Zombie Broads has been a labor of love. It was actually a dare because I hate zombies as all people should because they're <laughs> zombies and so she dared me on facebook maybe four years ago that that was going to be our next project and i took that dare and uh we ran with it <laughs> and it's going up and i'm so excited they're in rehearsals right now and and on days off i get to go over and, and see where it, where they are and what's happening and hey, can you give us a quick synopsis of what the show's about well, they're a book club Oh. Um, and they drink wine and believe that the end of the world may or may not come. And you'll just have to come and see what happens. No, that's a good tease, dude. Yeah. yeah. So you, besides all that, have also been, you've done TV with Empire and Mind Games, movies The Gabriel and Baby Time. You're also an improviser on top of all that. So you're just this well-rounded artistic machine. Do you got one thing in particular you really enjoy better than the other, or is it just oh by gosh. project that you're enjoying what you're doing? I love every opportunity because they're all new and they're all blessings. You know, you have the you have you're lucky enough to be able to book things that are enjoyable and that can um, be fun to be a part of, and that you can show your craft and show who you are. And so to be able to kind of pepper 
within all of the different facets is I'm just super lucky that I've had that experience. But my favorite thing to do right now is to get in the car with my best friend, Corey. So what is that? She, <laughs> one day in the car, put on her phone and started recording us and started asking me questions just to see what would happen. And I didn't know what it was for because I was driving. And um, then she started putting them so up So let me YouTube. say, you weren't holding a camera for the police. You weren't technically <laughs> on your phone. Nope. The state shouldn't send driving. you a $1,000 ticket for doing any of that stuff. <laughs> nope. Okay. She just put it right up there and started asking me about hummus, actually, was the first thing that she asked me about. And, um, and then we started making these little shorts and uh, now people want to actually get in the car. We are, <laughs> we're now, if we have subscribers, we're trying to get to 250, then we'll start to have guests in the car. Oh, nice. And through that, we started writing our web series, Corey and Sarah are famous. Like she's my best friend. And so to be able to um, create with her is like the best day every day. Wow. And then doing big musicals like this, are you kidding? Like to be able to be a part of this experience, I've never experienced anything like it. Yeah, I gotta say, because I'm gonna let you go, because like I said, we're in between the, the matinee and the evening show. And, and so two things, in between the matinee and the evening show, what do you do? Um, we, we hang out with the cast. Uh, maybe take a nap yeah, <laughs> if we need. Rest your voice, get ready for the night show. That's what, that's what we do. And you know, you were just talking about the shows and we were talking about like what a great matinee audience and everybody yeah. on their feet. Like, what's it like being up there, and especially during a mega mix? Like, I, I keep going there's back to the opening like night, it. 1,500 people just up and singing and dancing, but that happens every single yeah, show. Yeah, there's for you nothing guys. like it. I mean, you when you get to the mega mix, it really is like you're in a concert, and the fourth wall is gone. You can really look at the audience. You can see their faces. You can you can um, smile and sing to them. It's a, it's a party. It's a party. Well, look, you're an amazingly talented individual, and and so I encourage everybody look check out sarah savini check out you at the factory theater and your upcoming show hey. check out uh your get in the car <laughs> and, and i was gonna say get in the car and drive get in the car and talk <laughs> like and all the great stuff that you do thank you for being a part of our paramount thank family you. it's nothing but a pleasure to have you here My come pleasure. see mama mia man they run through october 30th thanks for taking the time sarah thank you very much